and welcome back everyone to Spark My Life. Uh, today's video is going to cover um, smart shopping, how to make uh, delicious meals uh, without um, spending too much money. In other words, they're a bit more budget friendly. Now recently I have discovered um, what probably a lot of people know about nowadays, uh, it's Aldi's, which is a new um, grocery store. I guess it can, you can say it's giving Publix a good run for their money. Uh, I've been a Publix snub for many, many, many years. I don't know, there's something about how they design their store, their stores that are very uniform and they're exactly the same no matter what state you go in and you know exactly where you're going to find everything. It's kind of like they've already pre-programmed you or conditioned you to know how to make your way through the store to shop. But anyhow, I digress. Um, today I am going to be covering um, how I found some great things um, at Aldi's and um, Aldi's is actually starting to make up about 30 to 40 percent of where I spend my grocery budget. I mean there are certain things that I can only get at Publix and that I try to shop smart and I believe I covered this in a couple of my other videos is uh, to make sure that even if you're just going there to pick up some milk or eggs really encourage you to make do a walkthrough through the whole place because you may actually find some great deals. Publix is very well known for having their buy one get one free or their buy one get the other one 50% off. So on things like cereal, uh, oatmeal, um, orange juice, pasta, marinara sauce, there's a lot of things, cheese that they do a lot almost every week you will find some some kind of special apology so I always make make it a point of even if I'm just gonna buy one or two things I walk across the whole thing and I always walk out with more things but um, at the end of the day that's actually a good thing for me because then it already has saved me money because um, when I make something later that week or even a couple of weeks after I've already purchased that item, I know that I've saved money and it gives me more ideas. I don't have to uh, be constantly shopping at Publix and uh, running out to get things that I that I forgot or that I need for a special recipe. And like I said, at the end of the day, it ends up saving you money. Well, anyway, all these. Love it. Love that store. Like I said, it has become probably about 30-40% of, uh, of my new spending budget or grocery budget and uh, I get to find some really, really nice things that some of them are actually imported from Europe, like for France, Spain, uh, Italy. I have been able to find some great gnocchi um, that is made, that is imported from Italy that is delicious and I've gotten it for like $1.99 a pack that can fit about four people. And they have either the regular gnocchi, spinach gnocchi, whole wheat gnocchi. I, I mean, I love gnocchi. so. Um, that is a great thing that you can find there as well as uh, other little treasures. Uh, their seafood is particularly very attractive to buy. Salmon, you can get a very, you can probably save about 25 to 30% off your salmon and it's fresh, great quality that you would if you bought it at Publix. But anyway, today's um, video, I went to Aldi's and uh, this is uh, my receipt. I spent about $35 and change and I actually bought um, what I consider are a lot of good bargain items there. So I'm going to quickly go over them and show them, show you what I bought and then share some final thoughts. Anyhow, um, for my protein, I went ahead and I bought some lean ground beef. As you can see, this was uh, $5. Um, it's a very good, um, what do you call it, serving. And you can make probably food here for about four people. Um, I know that at Publix when I buy the lean ground beef, it probably would have cost me about $7. This was $5.05. So I consider this a very good, good, um, what do you call it, a very good deal or a very good price. Um, I also bought some mushrooms. Again, these mushrooms are um, going by the, I don't have my glasses, I can't go price by price, but anyhow, I will be adding the prices um, in the, when I edit the video. But anyhow, I got some mushrooms. Uh, these are really yummy. I, I bought mushrooms from them before and they're perfect. And I, when all these first came about, I saw a lot of uh, comments from people on, on social media saying like, oh, the produce stinks, the prices are good on canned goods, and that's about it. But actually, I've, I've seen all this change for the, probably in the last year or so. And I noticed that the produce has gotten 
pretty much at the same level as Publix, if not sometimes better. Like actually, I buy strawberries at Aldi's now instead of Publix because they are really, really yummy. Well, of course they're in season right now, but the most important thing is that they are about a dollar cheaper than Publix. So I've been getting my blueberries there and my um, strawberries, and I've been getting their tomatoes and uh, seedless cucumber, and um, even cantaloupe, you can get it probably about 75, 80, 80 cents cheaper. Uh, definitely buy onions, carrots, because those are way, way cheaper than Publix. So I, there are certain things that now I'm just going ahead and, and buy. And I go to all these about once a week, and what, that's where I get my produce. And then the rest of the time, that I, as I need things, I'll, I'll swing over to Publix, because it's closer to me. Publix is about... I don't know, three minutes away, and all this is about 10 minutes away. So obviously, uh, the distance does, you know, is a factor in where I'm gonna go shop. But I try to do this smartly, and this is one of the tips that I would like to make sure that you guys uh, follow, and that is that, um, you know, expand your, your the places that you put your grocery shopping right now. If you are a public snob like I used to be, that's great. You can continue to buy things there. You get some really good bargains. And obviously their stuff is always a top-notch quality. But definitely try out all these because you might be surprised about what you find there. Anyway, the next thing that I bought was this um, spicy sausage. Now I know that uh, we're making lasagna tonight, so that's why we gotta get the spicy sausage. But I know that when I bought sausage at Publix, it's normally about for a package this size, it's about five dollars. And this one was actually, I believe, it was under three dollars. So this is also a very, very good find. And then I have, of course, you can make lasagna without plenty of cheese. Now this is a, a two pound bag, and I believe that uh, Publix has something similar, and their their bag is about, this is um, eight cups of cheese, and I believe that their bag is about $7.59, and that is the Publix brand. Of course, if you buy Kraft or Sargento or whatever, the, you know, the price might go up, and I don't even know if they sell it in the large size bag, but I know that Publix sells the large bag, and I think that they do it, like I said, for about $7 in, 50 cents, sometimes they put it on sale for maybe six fifty. This was $5 in change. So again, from now on, I am going to be buying cheese from Aldi's. I have bought their, um, their more gourmet cheeses, and once in a while they have um, the smoked Gruyere and um, smoked uh, cheddar, and some really, um, I believe also their, um, I can't remember what's the other cheese, but anyhow, they have really great prices on cheeses. So I'm gonna start buying my cheese there. What I would normally would do at Publix is that I would always wait until they had their buy one, get one free, or their buy one, get the other, or get, you know, get two for $6, or sometimes they do get two for $7, which is not as good of a deal. But um, now I think that I'm gonna save my cheese purchasing um, to Aldi's. So that's another item that I'm kind of moving to Aldi's. Now another thing that I found that um, I'm gonna really I'm gonna be really curious about how this works out and if it's good I'm gonna try to go ahead and add it to my list. Now I typically don't prepare a lot of frozen food. I am more of a fresh food person, but with all these I've actually tried some of their frozen items in. I have to say, they're very, very good quality. I actually uh, just made the other day some chicken kebabs and they were already in the stick. The, the, the meat was raw, it wasn't pre-cooked. And uh, all I had to do is kind of brush them a little bit with oil. They had some type of sweet and sour barbecue sauce or whatever. Okay, and I cooked it in my, in my um, iron skillet and it was delicious. The family liked it and I made a couple of sides. And I mean, and that chicken, frozen chicken dinner uh, was like $4.99. So I thought that that was definitely very reasonable and it was very easy to make. I mean, it virtually cooked in about 10 minutes. Making the sides and everything, you can add another 10, 15 minutes. But I mean, it was a, it was a pretty quick meal. But anyhow, I've also bought their, um, they have their frozen, Flatbreads, they have like a mushroom and cheese flat, uh, flatbread. Again, that was really delicious. Make it with a side salad for a light dinner or an, or an even just, a, just an appetizer if you're entertaining. But this one is the 
breaded veal patties. Now veal is something that I've never really been brave enough to try to cook myself. So I went ahead and, um, you know, the picture definitely makes it look very attractive. And uh, I have plenty of pasta and I have certain, and I have the mushrooms and I have the cheese. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to uh, prepare as the picture shows here, but the veal is already prepared and you only have to put, go ahead and put it in the oven and cook it. And it says that it has nine servings of three ounce portions, which again, if you're, if you are marrying this with either mashed potatoes or pasta, uh, you know that you do not need to have that six ounce, seven ounce of protein in there. So I think that the three ounce portion is, is a very reasonable meal size, especially if you're not trying to overeat here. So if that is the case, this was my most expensive item. Again, I spent $35 and $7.99 or $8 went into this alone, but I mean, it is veal, and on top of that, it is also nine servings, which, you know, maybe um, I'll serve it twice for dinner instead of, you know, instead of getting it three times, because I don't know, it all depends on how hungry we're gonna be, but pretty much if I arrange pasta or some other side dishes with it, I think that I can make it work and make it stretch to making it um, be a, th a nine servings, um, uh, what do you call it? Nice servings meal, which served throughout a couple of weeks, and I would say for seven ninety nine, that's a hell of a bargain. So I will go ahead and uh, give you guys an update of how I found this. Um, if it was good, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't know, but I will go ahead and try to share that. And the next item is um, again we use cottage cheese, small curd. Um, for the lasagna, again, to make it a little bit less uh, fattening. Um, this is something that um, I learned as a trick. So it was, it, it's, the lasagna comes out beautiful. I mean, it's still very, very tasty. And uh, I really, really prefer the cottage cheese than using something like ricotta and whatnot. And then I bought a couple of desserts. Let's see, well, this is a, I wanted to give it a try, um, yogurt. This was this cherry. This was like 39 cents. I know that when you go buy yogurts at Publix, one, it's still about a dollar. Even, even the Publix brand went up. I think it used to be like 89 or 99 cents once upon a time, but now it's actually about a dollar. So 39 cents for this. I mean, I say, let's give it a try. And then another one, I was kind of, when I went there, I had a little bit of a sweet tooth. I think that's why these things appeal to me. And then this one is a rice pudding. Um, I don't know much about it, but it just, it looked yummy and I wanted to try it. And that it is a nice, healthier alternative than eating a, some cookies or, or a piece of cake. So I wanted to go ahead and try it. And then last but not least, oh, okay, there's one more sweet. And then of course these, these are my daughter's absolute favorite. These are frozen pop, fresh fruit. And they're really, really delicious. And again, um, this is um, not even $3. I think it's a $2 and change. So um, definitely very reasonably priced, and again, much better priced than some, um, something similar that you would find at Publix. And then, last but not least, is flatbread. My non-non-bread, which I call it flatbread too. Now at Publix, you can get, um, not, I'm not sure if you can get this brand, but it's a different brand. And, uh, but you only get two pieces of, of this non bread, and I believe that the two pieces are about a $3, $2.99. This packet comes with four pieces, four pieces, and it is $3.49. So I think that is definitely, you know, for 50 cents more, you're actually getting double uh, the usual amount that you would get for the brand that you buy at Publix. And the way that I use this, um, this non bread, I use it for a couple of things. Uh, I make personal pizzas with this, and um, I, I'm gonna go ahead and make a, rest, um, a video to show you how I do my quick personal pizzas. But these really are a quick meal, that you, especially on the weekends, I don't really like to cook a lot or, or plan big meals, so I do something really easy. So I'll prepare a side salad and then personal pizzas for the family, and everybody is happy. So I really, really, um, I, I always have this in my freezer, always. I normally buy two to three packages just to make sure that I have plenty. And then I also use them with, um, with hummus. I buy some hummus 
Um, and then I kind of doctor it up a little bit with a certain other ingredients, especially if it's just the, the, the regular, original, or traditional hummus. And then I'll put these babies in the oven, put some olive oil, some seasonings, and then cut them, and then um, it's delicious. Uh, it has come uh, and served it with a Greek salad, and there you have another light meal, nothing heavy, but that at least is also filling, so it is healthy. Anyhow, um, these are all the goodies that I found at Aldi's today. Again, um, spent $35. And I think I got a lot for, for, for that amount of money. And I'm really, really excited on trying the, the veal patties. So I will definitely try to let you guys know how that goes. But anyhow, um, once again, thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you want to comment and share what is one of the things that a great find that you have found at Aldi's that you would recommend other people to buy, definitely please add it to the comments or if you have any questions about other things that I may have bought there. Um, subscribe to my channel as well and uh, don't forget to check out the rest of my videos which are my, my besides my cooking tips, they're also my beauty tips. So. Um, Check those out as well if you're interested in um, products that are good, you know, that make your skin look nice and that um, they keep, you know, those nasty blemishes and or wrinkles out of your face too. So definitely, um, I have a couple of videos there that you might enjoy. Other than that, uh, thank you for joining me today. Um, also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, other than that, have a lovely, wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.